All right, guys. Um, welcome to um, this short tutorial. Um, pardon my house voice. Uh, that's around um, 2 a.m. So <coughs> that's that's quite normal. All right. So today's tutorial is just um, a quick one to show you how I run my um, exports. Um, quite often, I get people asking me, "How do you get your photos this sharp um, when you upload and all that?" I just want to go through my export settings. How I run my exports or I prepare my file for exports typically. All right, so as you can see, I've already done a, a lot. I've done my my uh, uh, blemish removals and um, um, my color grading. This before and after. Okay, so yeah, at this stage, I'm just preparing the file for exports. All right, so this is my final layer, layer three. What I do when I get to this stage, what I do is that, um, okay, so let me do it this way. Actually, let me delete all these. Okay, so this is my my file here. This before and after, um, and I'm and I have to save this file. What I do is that, first of all, I duplicate this layer, Control J, and then I desaturate this. You can press Shift Control U or come all the way up here to Image um, Adjustments, and then desaturate. As you can see, yes, the shop code is Shift Control U. So we have our image desaturated. So I go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And this value I'm going to choose here depends on the, the quality or the file size I'm dealing with. But typically, um, with my uh, um, with my 20 megapixel file, I'll go with one. Okay, so as you can see, the details here, especially with the edges, right? So that's going to sharpen or give the photo an extra crisp. Okay, so choose okay, fine. Coming to my blend mode to overlay, we have it here. So, as you can see, before, after, before, after. very minute change you might not notice where you are, but trust me, it helps a lot. Before, after, before, after. What people do is sometimes they increase that value and the whole photo looks uh, more of HDR ish. And just a natural photo okay so when i come here um i'll stamp this bully again shift control alt e shift control alt e save this bully so that's it i can delete this one if i want just to make my file so um, file size smaller all right so at this stage what i'll do is that um i mentioned in my previous video that i like sending my files to um, clients in four by five aspect ratio that's for Instagram and I realized that when you put four by five in WhatsApp status it doesn't really pixelate as a normal two by three um, and then also um, Facebook also supports the four by five it's a very good aspect ratio to to export in, unless of course you are working for a project and they need the, the full size so when I get here this is what I do. I come to the history tab here. Then this small button that's here, a lot of people don't know it. When you click on it, it opens the file in another a document, a new document. Okay. So I click on it, then it opens my file in another, the same thing, in another, um, in a new document. So when I come here, I'll come and crop, choose my C, my crop tool here. Where is it? All right. Then in my size, I'll choose the four by five, as you can see here. Then I crop my photo. And there's a good place to crop this photo. I'm going to leave in Africa. Okay, so enter. So I have my file right now. So after cropping, I go to image, and then image size. And I choose my, for this photo, the longest length is the height. 
So I choose 2048. My resolution still remains at 300. So once you choose your height, it automatically updates the width. If you are dealing with a with a landscape photo, then you would have to make the width 2048 pixels. So my rear symbolism rear symbolism um, um, by cubic. Alright, good. So that's it. Here we go. If you don't do this and you up try uploading in the original file size, what will happen is that Instagram or Facebook or whatever will auto compress your photo, and that's how can people lose the sharpness when they when they up, uh, upload because Instagram or Facebook algorithm can deal with the the file size that you're trying to upload, so they would have to auto compress it or downsize it, and <laughs> you may lose your quality, the quality, the integrity. Or the photo would be compromised all right so once i come here the final thing to do would be to sharpen it so i come to sharpen don't forget i always downsize before i sharpen you can sharpen and then you downsize when you do that it would the the the, the integrity of the sharpness that you did would be compromised so you want to downsize before you sharpen so i come and sharp mask my radius on one threshold to amount anything around 50 works for me 50 48 yeah unless i'm dealing with um, a landscape photo or something like that but then anyway, this works for me perfect okay all right so here you go with before and after before and after you realize that there's this extra crispness for with a photo so once i get here come to file okay let me add my logo first there's a final thing i do uh, where are my logos okay so, so. i don't like logos that are too loud i change this to overlay So I come to file, export, export, save for web. Okay, that's shift control, alt S. Okay, so in my my dialog box here, my quality is 87. Anything around 86, 87 is very good. When you increase this, you just get increased um, file size. Very high um, JPEG. Um, what what else? Preview monitor. Convert to sRGB. It's very important to the quality on sRGB. Um, qualities by cubic. Now image size. Now people advise that you change your image size here. That's when you're saving 2048 here. I don't advise that. Why? Because if you're going to, like I said earlier, if you're going to um, sharpen and do the, all that before you come and change image size at this at the end here, the, the integrity of the sharpening that you did earlier will compromise. So I crop downsize sharpen i just say here so once you come here your value is already in 2048 height okay then you save all right so where is the um okay 